late 50s to just about late 60s and I was a fashion photographer. While I was uh, working there was a model who uh, became a very good friend of mine and she was uh, she had I, I, th I thought a very sad life in that she was when I knew her she was the top model and she would she just do things for, for nothing for me and I was just so appreciative but then when she got a little older they just discarded her as if she was just some old piece of cloth you know and it was really sad and it, it affected her life and she went through a lot of um, mental and physical breakdowns and I just thought I'd like to tell this story and that's that was the beginning of what what I how I you know started to get into this and basically I um, I recorded her I did about three and a half hours of tape of her so I just thought it was a, a really interesting story and uh, I started developing it took four years to get it on and in that period of time I became friendly with Faye Dunaway and uh, uh, she had asked me about uh, what I was doing because I had photographed her for Esquire. By now, Faye had already done Bonnie and Clyde, okay. so uh, she was an entity. Uh, we, uh, the first deal I had was with um, Warner Brothers, and I got a very bad script, and I didn't like it. I didn't want to do it, so we just gave up on that. Then, then we made a deal with uh, Paramount, and I, I guess Bob Evans thought he was going to get blow up, and you know it wasn't going to be blow up. Uh, so after he got the script, he just sort of wrinkled his brow and said, no, I don't think so. And we were really in trouble for a while. And then uh, uh, my agent gave it to uh, Paul Newman's company. And uh, Paul and Joanne read it, and they really liked it. Uh, Joanne had had a friend that had had a similar circumstance. And uh, they had a deal with Universal that if uh, they each did a film for Universal, they were allowed to, uh, they would give them a, a, something they could produce, and they wanted to produce this. So we lucked out with that, and you know, having Faye didn't hurt. I knew the puzzle was a very complex and strange study of a woman. I mean, Jerry Schatzberg was very much into exploring that personality, and I'd never been in a project that spent that much time just studying what, how a woman, uh, you know, drinks her tea. It's very... Uh, it's very fragmented um, dialogue. It's 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 basically uh, uh, she doesn't really know whether what she's saying is the truth or not the truth. You know, she thinks it's the truth, but it's not in reality. And we show that we show what the truth is, and we show uh, her thinking. But it's it's basically her going through this this taping through the entire film. But we flash into different parts of her life. And we see how she started as a model, how she became a great model, how she, uh, and then how she started to uh, take advantage of all the perks, and, and uh, she'd have her list of people she wouldn't work for, and you know, it was like every, everybody goes through their star period, you know, and then it, it affects you too because people don't want to work with you after that. So uh, she um, she goes through that, and then people didn't want to work with her as she started to get older, especially, and. Uh, and she uh, finally moves out to this uh, house on, on, at the beach. And she says, you know, she says, all I ever wanted was a place that I could be alone and, and write and paint. And now I've got it and I hate it, you know. And it's, uh, it's really uh, sad, and, sad and wonderful in a way.